Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a video call conference app using Seago Cloud. Similar to the Teams app or Zoom app, where multiple users can join a conference. It's basically a virtual meeting app. Let me show you the demo. This is what the app looks like. We have a join conference button, so click on it. And now you are a part of the conference. Likewise, I'll join the same conference from another device. And here we are. As you can see, we have so many features such as video call, voice call and chat. And you can also check how many members have joined. Now I know you'll be wondering how the other device knew which conference to join, right? So in the code, we have mentioned a default conference ID. Hence, everyone will join the same conference. See, once I teach you how to create a basic video call conference app, then later you can add advanced features like creating a private conference ID or custom username. Okay? Now let's create it. Open Android Studio. Choose MD Views Activity. Name the project the conference app. And click on Finish. At the start, I said we will be using Zigo Cloud API. So like how we used to have Google Maps API for the Maps app, News API for the News app, and Weather API for the Weather app. Likewise, we have Zigo Cloud API for the conference app, chat app, video calls, voice calls, and many more. Let me show you. Go to zigocloud.com website. I have provided the link in the description box. This is what the website looks like. So Zigo Cloud is a global communication service provider that provides developer-friendly and powerful SDKs and API to build communication features for our application. They offer multiple services like video calls, voice calls, live streaming, in-app chat, cloud recording, AI FX, super boot, and digital human. You can see more of the services over here in UI kits. Also, Zigo Cloud provides you with 20 plus UI kits for different services, means they already provide you with the code, which makes app building quicker and easier. We will be using video call conference service in our project. With the help of Zigo Cloud's video conferencing API, you can easily build your video conferencing app within minutes. So let's start. To integrate the Zigo Cloud API into our project, first we need to register. So click on sign up. See, as I said, in 30 minutes, you will have a fully functional video call conference app with few lines of code only. Isn't that cool? Also, initially you will get 10,000 free minutes to use where you can create your app, test your app and if required, you can go for premium. The best part about this API is that you don't require any initial card or payment hassle. So it is developer friendly and even student friendly. Also, it works with so many tools and platforms like React, Swift, Angular, Flutter, Android, Java and JavaScript. Isn't that amazing? So try now with Android. Now, to register, write your first name, last name, country, and your work email. Then a verification code will be sent to your provided email. Write it here. Then create a password. Then lastly, tick both of them and click on start your free trial. Then a box will appear where you can mention your company name, job title, industry, and phone number. See, in the free trial, you'll be getting 10,000 minutes for free. And also, you'll be getting an advanced support plan, so make the most use of it. Then click on Go to Dashboard. This is what the Zico Cloud Dashboard looks like. You can see all your projects here, plus their usage and analytics, everything. So let's create our project. Click on Create your first project. These are all the use cases, out of which we will go for video call conference. Click on next. Write your project name. It can be the same name or different name from your Android project. Then there are two ways to get started. First is UI kits and second is SDKs. In UI kits, there is less amount of code and your app will be ready within 30 minutes. While SDK are used for big projects where you want a fully customized app. Hence, we will go for UI kits and click on start with UI kits. Wait and done. Then here choose Android. Next, click on save and start to integrate. 
This is our configuration page where you will find your app ID and app sign. Both of them are very important, hence please keep them safe. They are used for authentication to integrate into your project. Then click on quick start. Here you will find the code which you can simply integrate into your app. The documentation code is in Java but we will write it in Kotlin. All you have to do is follow step by step. We have 5 steps to be performed. So step number 1 is to add Jetpack configuration, not Jetpack, ok? Copy this line and paste them here in the settings cradle below Maven Central. Rewrite them according to our code. And done. Then step number two is to add a dependency. So copy this line and paste it here in the build creator. Also write the target SDK and compile SDK as 35. Now click on sync now. Then step number three is prerequisites. So go to colors, add a purple color with hex code 4B54C0. Then go to themes, add color primary. Color primary variant and status bar color as purple. Then to make the app look more appealing, I will add a background image. So copy and paste the image into the drawable folder. And then, now step number four is UI design. But before that, see, we have two screens. On the first screen, we have the join conference button. And on the second screen, we have conference happening, right? So our main activity is our first screen, which consists of the join button. And now let's create a second screen, which is our conference screen. And done. Now let's continue with step 4 designing the UI. So go to activity main. Here we will have a join conference button. So let's create it. In the constraint layout, add our background image. Then inside it, create a button whose width is match parent and whose height is 60 dp. Write the id as join button then add all the other important attributes Also, to make it more appealing, we will add Poppins font like this way. And then, then go to Activity Conference. Here, keep the layout as a constraint layout. Then, width and height as match parent. Give it an ID as conference layout. And that's it.
This UI will be handled by Zico Cloud. As you saw in the demo, all the features such as video call, microphone, speaker and members list, everything will be provided by Zigo Cloud API. So we will handle this in the conference activity. Okay. Now, step number five, which is our last step where we will write the logic. So go to main activity. Here, all we have to do is write the logic for button. So declare and initialize the button. Then set on click listener on it. This button will redirect us to conference screen. So let's write the intent for it. And done. Our first screen is ready. Now go to conference activity. Here we have to do two things. First is to generate a random user ID and second is to add a conference screen. So let's write the code for it. First, create a private function, generate user ID, which will return us a string. And inside it, initialize a string builder and a random function. Then while builder length means the string length should be less than 5. Then inside it, the integers should be bounded up to 10, which means any random number between 0 and 9. Then if the string is empty and the next integer is 0, so write continue, means skip the iteration and continue the next iteration. This is done to avoid zero as a first number. Then, if the above condition is passed, append the next integer and finally return the string. Now, once we have our user ID, then let's add the conference screen. So create a function, add conference screen, and inside it, create an app ID variable and app sign variable. Copy and paste your app ID and app sign here. Then below it, create a default conference ID variable whose ID is test underscore conference underscore ID. As I said, it is a default conference ID. So whoever has the same app will join the same conference. But to make it more functional, you can create two buttons where the first button will let you create a custom conference ID and the second button will ask your conference ID to join. Got it? Now next, create a user ID variable. Here, call the generate user ID method, which we created before. This will give us a random four digit user ID. Then our username will be a user ID only with an underscore name. Next, initialize Zico UI Kit pre built video conference config, which enables a pre built video conference feature. Then, as I said previously, we will handle our UI here in the logic, hence, creating a fragment Zico UI Kit pre built video conference fragment using the new instance method. This is our conference screen. So pass all the parameters in it, such as app ID, app sign, user ID, username, conference ID, and config. Then as it's a fragment, we will manage it using support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace means the current screen with the conference layout fragment. Then commit now. And then finally, call the add conference screen function here inside the on create. And that's it. Our video call conference app is ready. Now let's run the app. This is how it looks. Let's join the conference. First, it will ask for permissions. So grant it. And here we are. 
I will also join from another device. And here I am. See, we have two members with random user IDs. This one is mine and this one is another device user ID. We can also chat here or video call or voice call. It's like a complete package. Isn't that cool? Also, if you think of creating a conference app from scratch, then it will be very difficult. Hence, an API or a library like this makes app development very easy. So, don't forget to check out the Zico Cloud API website where you'll find all the services and UI kits. Sign up right now and get 10,000 minutes free. You will find all the links and offers in the description box. So, yeah, that's it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.